Zafra, a small town in the province of Badajoz that we knew nothing about. We researched and came here for the weekend, mostly because we wanted to see the castle, the famous castle of Zafra. It just so happened that the castle of Zafra isn't actually in Zafra. <laughs> so when we got here, we found quite a nice town. We're staying in a spa, which is nice, but there's no castle of Zafra. It's a bummer, but not a worry. It's a very nice city that we're going to explore. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you that this is second time Pedro does this. We come, we come to see one place, which is not actually the place. <laughs> I'm trying to check if the hotel that I actually booked is really in this place or, or, or it's like 200 kilometers from here where Pedro was thinking that we were going. <laughs> Not the first time this is happening. Whew. At least the hotel is here. <laughs> like 10 kilometers from where we are now. And we booked the hotel with swimming pool because look at likes a lot. So we have to do it the afternoon. Flores, the museum. It's a different culture, Spain. The museum opens at five. In the afternoon, <laughs> it's quite different from our schedules in Portugal. This is probably my favorite place till now of Zafra. It's quite remarkable. This uh, squares in Spain. They look very, very nice with these arches, and it seems buzzing with life all the time. People are outside drinking beer, talking, socializing. It's, it's something that I really like about squares in Spain. <laughs> If you end up visiting Zafra or most of the southern cities in Spain, remember their schedules. Church opens at 6, 6 in the afternoon. Museums open at 5 in the afternoon. So, better to go in the morning or very late in the afternoon. You need to get used to this type of schedule. had a small tour around Zafra and now we decided to see a bit of the outside of the town and maybe do a bit of trails and go up uh, a mountain that's mostly because all the museums and churches and everything uh, are closed like we said so we just went around town saw a couple of things and decided to move on He always does this. Never like banana. I want a banana, I want a banana, then he needs two bites and no, I don't want more. <laughs> oh. 
while I'm a bit um, disappointed. I was hoping that we could climb, like, to see these uh, rock formations come up. But everything is uh, fenced and it says it's uh, like private land and uh, hunting land. Well, we don't have permission for it. That's, that's a pity. It's a nice, nice walking up would be really nice. Well, at least the views are nice from up here and I'm kind of feeling this piece of the small forest that I like and the smell of the forest, so not all is bad. Oh, he's bringing a huge branch for me. Okay, so the hotel uh, looks nice. It's a spa. I think we selected well. We're gonna go for a swimming pool. Yay! Yay! 